Hello everyone, good evening and welcome to the JCP Spring Benefit, our first ever and hopefully our last ever virtual benefit in a global pandemic. Last year when COVID hit, our exemplary staff and extraordinarily generous leadership stepped up in an inspiring way, helping steer our beloved Jewish community through these incredibly turbulent waters. You know, our downtown Jewish community has weathered so many storms together, from 9-11 to Sandy to COVID, and yet again, resiliency and meaningful connections to one another has remained our true north. Tonight, we celebrate that resiliency, that devotion and love of our whole JCP team, staff, teachers, administrators, and all of you in maintaining JCP as a unique center for Jewish life downtown. We also celebrate tonight two very special families, the Freedmans and the Levies, whose singular support of JCP is a model for leadership and generosity, which we have been so blessed to experience. So tonight, we celebrate our accomplishments, we share together stories from our beloved membership, and we raise much needed funding so that JCP can continue to thrive, to grow, and to create more meaningful and original and inspiring programming so that we may build a better, kinder, and more peaceful world. Pour yourself something refreshing to drink, sit back, and enjoy this special evening. Many of our members and our amazing community are more dispersed this year. 10,000 years since we started this journey, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about what online learning looks like at JCP. How about, Ed, do you have any menorahs that have any special stories attached to them? This last year has been hard in many ways. Hi friends, it's Andy Bachman from JCP with a message of hope and promise. The most unusual year of my life, unquestionably. Shalom everyone, we are now ready to board. This last year was insane. I don't think there's any other word for it completely insane on one hand. And on the other hand, uh, just inspiration around every corner. There was just this full-on commitment to bring forward an idea that community and the values of Jewish community uh, add to our lives was something we're all committed to. The main goal for all of us was keeping everyone connected. We wanted everyone to feel connected to each other and to JCP. We knew pretty immediately School was going to close. We made the announcement after school on Wednesday. Thursday, we created an entire remote program and implemented it that Friday. The driving goal was to sort of give children as much of a sense of a routine amidst a very quickly changing world and environment um, as, as much as we could. We started doing Shabbat services on Instagram Live. I didn't have an Instagram before COVID-19 hit. We had many Zoom events. Every life cycle event was still honored. Zoom bar bat mitzvahs, Zoom baby namings, even Zoom funerals and shivas. We did what we could do to make sure everyone felt centered, anchored, and taken care of and connected to their JCP community. The continuity that JCP provided was, was just phenomenal. They took what they had and they just sort of just transferred it all to this, you know, virtual and online world. Today we are going to be making some homemade pita bread. It felt like we were able to come together even though we weren't actually able to come together. This community has offered us so many opportunities to, to connect with my peers or my children to connect with their teachers. It just has continued to feel like this warm, nurturing community for our, for our children to, to learn and, and grow in. The nice thing about JCP this year was, it was really an anchor to New York City when so many of us were displaced during Corona, it really brought everyone back together. The JCP community has been everything through COVID. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My whole family got together for high holiday services through JCP's offering. It was so nice to all be separate but together and see each other on the Zooms. We are still coming together in the ways that I think the founders of JCP envisioned spiritually, even if we're not necessarily coming together physically. This is what JCP was meant to be, which is when we need to come together as a community to support one another, we can do it. Our community came together to ensure 
that we not only survive, but we thrive. JCP at its core has always been a dynamic, evolving organization. It has not surprised me that JCP has weathered this pandemic because JCP was built to do just that. Hi everyone, I'm Stacy Pollack, president of the board of JCP. We're so excited to have you join us tonight to celebrate our beloved Jewish community project. What a year it's been. A year of challenges, no doubt, but also a year that has shown us the power of connection, the importance of community. I know JCP has been a source of comfort and a constant in so many of our lives during this crazy time. Whether through virtual Shabbats and B'nai Mitzvahs, baby namings, or both in-person and online ECC and HSP learning, live-streamed holiday services, and online community events. In a year when we have all felt a bit disconnected, JCP has found a way to keep us all together. But JCP is only as strong as its community. We could not be here, we would not be who we are, without your support and your participation. Thank you to our generous sponsors, our amazing co-chairs, Hila Narov and Rachel Ziff, and our devoted benefit committee. Tonight really is a celebration of all of us, our strength, our resilience, and our dedication to making sure that JCP continues to be the very special place that it is to all of us. And remember, tonight is also about giving. So please bid on items, give what you can through this benefit webpage and anytime at jcpdowntown.org. Our biggest priority over the summer was figuring out how to get these kids back in person, learning together in person. We knew that it would look different, but children learn best when they are together in person, playing, having hands-on experiences together with their teachers, and so it was a tremendous focus for us to be able to figure out how to make that happen and how to make that happen safely. Tell us what we're doing today, please. The core of what happens here in the Early Childhood Center at JCP is the same. The children are having wonderfully rich, engaged experiences. They are playing, they are making connections, they are engaged with materials, with their teachers, with their friends. They are truly thriving. It just looks a little bit different. Parents are not allowed to be in the building. They have to do drop off outside, pick up outside. Children are in masks this year in the preschool. There's a tremendous amount of disinfecting happening. Oh, where, oh, where, oh, where? Maddie. Joni leads our amazing music teacher. She does her music classes remotely. And so we were previously a screen-free school, but now we use screens for remote purposes on occasion. Music's a good example of that. When I hear Joni sing, it makes me want to dance. Children still get to have a Shabbat where their parents come in, they sing Shabbat songs with them, but they're not physically coming into the classroom. They're on the Zoom screen. They join Shabbat and read a story. We let the candles burn dancing, and then we say a, play, a prayer for the Kiddush, and then we eat challah. That was such a special moment because it was really the first time we ever got to see the kids in the classroom and, you know, their little table settings. It's a challenge in that it's an adjustment, it's something new, but it still feels wonderfully rich. When kids are absent, they'll zoom in so they can see their friends and stay connected to what's going on in the classroom. It sort of feels like natural now, whether it's through a screen or in person. We're still creating a community and a family. And they just want to give you a hug sometimes. So I think that's the biggest challenge is, is air hugging. <laughs> I think from day one, we felt that the protocols and the sense of responsibility that JCP and specifically Rachel Mintz really created was amazing. And we felt that it's been a very, very positive experience. It's fair to say that it's added stability to our lives, much needed stability to all of our lives. Everyone involved in the school was so communicative. We never felt like we had to wait for the important information. They were very forthcoming and were always telling us what we needed to know before we needed to know it or as soon as they could possibly provide information in a time where no one knew where the right information 
was coming from. So that was very comforting. I marvel at the administration and the teachers at JCP every day. While we have a lot of constraints and what might be perceived as limitations, the school, the teachers, my colleagues, my team, we have all championed as opportunities for learning and opportunities for expanding what could be a really creative and thoughtful process. It's been truly incredible and remarkable. In morning meeting, we do the schedule out and we do the weather and we talk about our day. My job this week is the triangle helper. My job this week is the exercise reader. Today we're learning that letter discovery. When you're inside of the classroom walls, it really does feel like a, a, a normal, typical school year in many ways because children are laughing and playing and learning and growing and connecting with each other in ways that are, are just really challenging to do in a remote way. And so the fact that every family, every staff member, every child really is on board with making that happen, I think that's really what has allowed this school year to feel so magical and, and like such a success. My favorite thing is to play in dramatic play. My favorite thing in JCP is playing here. I was into my play painting a lovely painting. It was all the colors of the rainbow. Creating a space that fosters joy and a sense of discovery and a love of learning is what this is all about. Just opening Hebrew School was the biggest challenge that I've ever had in my professional career, just figuring out how to get it open because we wanted to keep everyone as safe as possible. We wanted to lower the risk of exposure and spread of disease. And we also wanted everyone to have a really great time. We realized when we went through the old curriculum how much group work, how much collaboration, how much sharing, how much movement, how much cooking we used to do with the children and how much of that needed to be adjusted for this new reality to keep everyone safe and to keep everyone at a distance. I try to use the fact that we need to be separated as something that we are all united in. There's a lot more individual work. There's a lot more art. Everyone has their own set of materials. There's drama that's happening at a distance. Action! We were recording and doing an act of the story of Moses, and we were doing the 10 plagues. Once we were able to open school in person, the overwhelming response from the community was, yes, we're going to send our children, we trust you, we want to be there with you, and we're going to do this together. And that was a really amazing experience. Terrifying, but amazing. I love learning the alphabet in, in Hebrew. I feel like it's a good opportunity to help me learn about Hebrew stuff and like all that happened back, back like a billion years ago. JCP has been fantastic at enabling us to remain connected with our Jewish community and our priority of Hebrew school. You know, this has been a year where we really have to think through what are the priorities that we have. And to me, my Jewish faith is one of those priorities. It blew me away how committed this community was to continuing their Jewish learning. I like JCP Hebrew school because we got to do crafts, like painting and like stuff with like the holidays. We had a unit on um, King Saul and David, and that was probably my favorite. We do work together as groups and we have a lot of fun and we get really creative with what we do. I love Hebrew School at JCP. I like that there are fun art projects. There's the Seder plate and it has like parsley and herbs and eggs and all of those things on it. So we have over 70 kids coming to Hebrew school each week in person. And at the same time, we have over 60 kids coming to Hebrew school online. It got a chance to catch up with some of them in their Zoom classrooms to see how the year's been going. So I want to know from each of you, what is something that you have loved about Hebrew school this year? OK, so Eva. In the beginning of a class, like a fun activity, but then 
Can we do music? We each got jobs to host um, a second grade stage, and that was really fun. You guys did an amazing job. I really like all the different projects we do. I'm showing um, when Moses split the seas, and then I'm also showing the one of the plates we learned about. Those look super creepy crawly. Daniela, can you tell us about some of the things that you've been learning about this year? When I was doing my private session with Mihira, um, we like were making all these words with Hebrew letters and it's really cool. And when I have my bot mitzvah, I think it's gonna help a lot. What was it like learning on Zoom? It was a little difficult sometimes because um, the Wi-Fi wouldn't work, but it was also you guys made it actually a little bit easier because you sent us everything we needed in the boxes. Yeah. It was always a great surprise to see what was in it. Like one of my favorite things we got was this. I really like this. Yeah, we sent you your very own stuffed Torah. I think my dog claimed the Torah as his true toy. <laughs> You're sharing. That's a very Jewish thing to do. Okay, I have one last question. What have you guys learned about yourself this year? Well, basically I used to think, oh, I know literally nothing about the Jewish religion, but now that I'm in Hebrew school and they're teaching us all about this, I'm like, oh, I actually know more than I thought I did. <laughs> That's amazing. And you maybe feel kind of proud that you have like- I have discovered something. Being on Zoom has really taught me how to be more flexible. Like some things might change on the go or something. So, so it really taught me that like if things change and it's not perfectly into plan, it's okay. You can still do something really fun. Wow, Avery. I think this year has also taught me that. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You've seen tonight how much this organization means to our community, and we are so excited about the future of JCP. Now you're going to hear about why your support is so important. How good it is. How good it is. How sweet it is. How sweet it is to, to be together on this day. I think the overall takeaway is that of resilience, that we can do hard things. We have not closed down and given up. We have reopened and we have continued to teach our children. We have continued to have music and songs and art and, and Jewish learning and the story goes on and it won't be stopped for anything. It gives me so much faith in this community that we've made it through and not only have we sort of survived and pieced our way through it, but we've really thrived as a community and grown and we have new people who are excited about JCP. The challenges of the last year say so much about the commitment of staff. They say so much about the commitment of lay leadership, the fact that we have weathered the storm, the fact that we really do feel ourselves roaring back. There's a sense of optimism as the city opens back up. But I think there's something else that's being said by the broader community. What the year has given us uh, actually is the gift of that strong sense of yearning and that strong sense of really now realizing how important and how vital a vibrant uh, and meaningful Jewish community is to people's personal well-being, to the to the, to the well-being of their families and as a kind of beacon of hope and light for the broader world. I think that one of the best things about JCP is that it's not just a preschool, it's not just a Hebrew school, it's really a lifelong community. You sort of sign up for a school but you inherit a family. What I've really learned most at JCP is definitely working together, putting in a lot of effort to build a community and a, and a very sustainable community that's always there for you. It's emphasis on the family and not just the child makes it you know, to us really an invaluable and crucial organization for Jews in downtown New York.
going forward, I see such great things for our organization and I know that JCP will continue to be a Jewish home downtown for so many families in the future and I can't wait to see where we go next. I look forward to JCP one day opening up a brand new facility in its own building uh, that um, will serve a larger Jewish community and I look forward to uh, being a part of that. I love when I know that I'm part of something or an organization that's creating good. Continued support for the organization is so important because there's so much more that we can and should be doing. I think that now more, more than ever, JCP needs the, the financial support to continue their amazing programming and just kind of like power through this, this really tough, weird time. The community, I think, means so much to so many people and if we want that if we want our kids to grow up with that to have keeper school and bar and bat mitzvahs and brises and namings and weddings or even just a speaker series or a tot shabbat there needs to be funding for that the jewish community is very important and jcp does a fantastic job of keeping that community together and i want to do what i can do to support that we give to JCP because we want to be part of something and we want to facilitate other people to be part of it. We give to JCP because it's where we want to be and we want where we want our kids to be. I give to JCP because it is my Jewish home, because it is my community. I give to JCP because I'm excited for the future. What we've seen over the course of the last year is that we are blessed with a community of people who take their identities seriously who take Jewish values seriously and who are committed to the, the well-being and the, and, the, and the strength and financial health of this organization. And that gives me an enormous sense of hope for what we're going to be able to build on when we all come back together again. This is the moment of the night, the time for us to share with you our greatest needs. The fundamental reasons we ask you to give what you can to support an organization we all cherish and love. You can give right now by texting JCB Downtown to 41444. I'm here with Rabe Raphael, one of our board members, who's joining me to share his thoughts about why JCP means so much to him. Thank you, Andy. What has impressed me so much during this year is that during a time of great uncertainty and tremendous challenges, JCP instantly found ways to pivot to continue to support and serve our community. The easy way out would have been to close the doors until things normalized. But instead, JCP doubled down its efforts to ensure our community had a place to turn for normalcy and comfort. Whether it was high holiday services, Tat Shabbat, Hanukkah and Purim celebrations, adult education or pastoral care, JCP was there for the community in every imaginable way. Tat Shabbat, that's right. I think we met at Tat Shabbat for the first time. Now you're on our board. Our incredibly talented and devoted teachers who during the past year braved the pandemic went above and beyond in service to our families, to Jewish education, and to training the next generation of young Jews what it means to be a kind, loving, and responsible citizen in this world. It is because of JCP, the ECC, and HSP that so many of our children were able to live vibrant, exciting, and full lives during the pandemic. As parents, we knew our children would be safe and nurtured, and it was a true blessing for me as a dad that my child's life was mostly undisrupted. Inside of the walls of JCP, very little changed, and our children continued to flourish and grow. And thank God for that. So let's face it, under enormously challenging circumstances, a once in a lifetime global health crisis, the creativity, the humor, the connection, and the love never ceased. We found ways to draw even closer to one another, despite the distance we had to maintain to stay safe and healthy. As we emerge from the pandemic and our city and our community rebuilds, it is now time for all of us to step up and ensure that JCP continues to thrive. With your continued support, we undoubtedly have a very bright and exciting future ahead. In thinking about that bright future, I wanna remind you that it takes $5 million every year to run JCP. Tuition and fees don't nearly cover our budget. Your tzedakah, your gifts, your donations are what we need to survive and thrive. So let's do this. Let's give what we can to support the JCP we all love. Tonight, we're trying to raise $250,000. So I'd like to break it down for you. $100,000 will help us help others. 
That's how much we spend each year in scholarships and financial aid so that no one is turned away from providing a Jewish education for their children. $50,000 tonight will help us restore arts and music specialists and programming that we had to place on hold to cut costs during the pandemic. $36,000 tonight will help us to continue to provide innovative Hebrew programming, cutting edge Jewish studies, and the kind of warm, relevant Jewish classes for learners of all ages here at JCP. $18,000 can fund professional development opportunities. $10,000 can provide indoor play-based materials for experiences that foster learning and togetherness among our students. $5,000 can help support JCP's holiday celebrations like the Purim Carnival and the Hanukkah Hoopla. $2,500 can help underwrite social justice programs like the incredible JCP civil rights trip to the South or help sponsor a family's first trip to Israel. $1,000 can help fund Tat Shabbat services, one of the first chances for the little ones in our community to get a fun taste of Jewish life. And $500 can provide one month of Oneg Shabbat services. $180 can help support the Kindness Committee's efforts to support our community in times of both celebration and need. Any gift, no matter the amount, is appreciated and important to us at JCP. So please remember to text JCP Downtown to 41444. Every year we honor families who have gone above and beyond in their service to the JCP community. Last year in early March, we had just finished filming our videos, paying tribute to two remarkable families, when it became clear that the most important thing we all needed to do was quarantine and band together as a united world in defeating the COVID virus. We wanted to give those families the honor they deserve, so we are unveiling those tributes tonight, filmed in the before time, as people have been fond of saying. And so when you see everyone sitting so closely together, understand that they were actually filmed before the pandemic. No CDC protocols were harmed in the making of these videos, and Dr. Fauci approves this message. Thank you, Andy. Tonight, we are honoring two incredible families, the Friedmans and the Levies. Dory and Brian Friedman and their girls, Sammy and Danny, are true pillars of the JCP community. Dory and Brian have been involved in JCP almost from the start, with Sammy being among the first groups of preschoolers in the ECC. Through the years, Dory and Brian have given so much of themselves to helping our organization. From time spent on the board and in committees to opening their homes for countless JCP events, the Freedmans personify dedication to JCP and we are thrilled to honor their commitment tonight. The first thing that brought us to JCP was preschool. We had moved from uptown and we were drawn in by a Jewish preschool in a small community and we just found the warmth we were looking for. We never really would have thought that this far along in our children's education that we would still be this involved. It's just kind of organically grew around us and provided us something that we never really were looking for but we're unbelievably happy that we have. We met Dorian Bryan about 10 years ago, and it's been love ever since. We're legends in our own mind, I think, at every bar mitzvah photo booth. We're legends in the minds of everyone who gets their photo booth film roll after the event. We do enjoy it. We probably could make a book of all the photo booth pictures we have. We're... I'm not sure who would buy that book, but. <laughs> our parents are so special because one, they're amazing role models. They work really hard whatever they do. They love to see everyone happy. What I'm the most proud of for my parents is how much effort they put into creating such a loving community for us. JCP was you know, a small three classroom preschool when we started and now it's looking for a new space because we're growing out of it. And so I think that's really been special just to watch, to be part of something that's growing. Dory and Brian's contribution to JCP has been immeasurable. Dory is the embodiment of the Kindness Committee. Anytime anyone has a baby or has surgery or has anything going on, 
she takes the lead in making sure that the family is supported. And she's just a very genuine, down to earth, uh, and like you said, completely level headed. Not like me, you know, I'm like this and that. Dory's like that. Dory has been on every single committee that I can even think of. She's so persuasive that I served on the VOD, which is the Hebrew school thing, and I didn't even have a child in Hebrew school. So that's how persuasive Dory is. You get as much as you give, and we truly have gotten a lot from the GCP, and so it feels good to give back. Dory is kind of a quiet leader. When she says something, you listen because you know it's really important, and everything that comes out of her mouth is thoughtful, and always on point. Dory is one of the most caring, loving people that I know, and she's definitely made JCP a better place through her involvement and just her passion and her thoughtfulness. Brian is the financial wizard for JCP, or he has been in the past. I think that the fact that the two of them are on the board together is, is a challenge for their children. They have abandoned them on a monthly basis <laughs> for quite some time now. I'm not really all that good about going to board meetings. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is a voice of reason on the board. He is a voice of intelligence, and we're so lucky that he's given his time and energy to JCB. Every decision that we make is always uh, comes down to what is the best thing for the school, what will the children get the most out of, and it's important that we all give our part in order to ensure that it goes forward and with the same kind of success that it's had in the past. He's very logical and practical, and he can look at what's going on behind the scenes at the JCP that people don't always see. And so I think that he brings that level-headed passion. <laughs> I don't know. A little but, JCP Yoda. <laughs> JCP Yoda. <laughs> There's something about Brian that's still a little bit like a 19-year-old. He's kind of a club kid with his club kid dance moves. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes there's a little bit of this like, oh. well, wait till we're on the floor. I mean, I, no, I can't do it on video. <laughs> what I love most about the JCP is how much my children love it. The thing I love most about the JCP is the friends that we've made, the community that we've built, and the home that we love. Thank you so much for this special honor. In reality, this award should be going to our daughters, Samantha and Danielle, and is a testament to the JCP staff and community. When we moved to Tribeca 14 years ago, we only sought out a preschool and never would have imagined that even after both girls had their bat mitzvahs, that JCP would still play such a large and important role in all of our lives. It was Sammy and Danny who kept us so attached, wanting to go to the JCP's Hebrew school and youth group partake in community service projects, and asking us if we can go to Friday night services so that they could see their friends. As a parent, it's really a great feeling when your children are begging you to go to Temple. And that spurred us to become and stay active, both to ensure that the JCP can grow and thrive along with our children, and because we were energized by the warmth, dedication, and passion of the JCP community many of whom have become our closest friends. So, to the parents of the younger children, we ask that you don't look at the JCP as just a preschool. JCP will be your home for as long as you are in New York, and it's important to get involved early so that we can get new perspectives and fresh energy to keep the JCP dynamic and evolving and central to the lives of all of us and our children. We'd also like to congratulate Sharon Lee we couldn't think of another couple more deserving and we're thrilled to share this honor with them. Thank, Thank you. you. Our next honorees truly help make JCP's magic happen. Whether it's through Lee's many years on the board and executive committee or Shara dedicating countless hours as both PA and VAD presidents, the Levies exemplify how volunteerism makes such a huge impact to JCP. Along with their children, Gabriel, Judah, and Mila, the Levies bring a sense of fun, family, and love for community to our very grateful organization. We are so happy to honor them tonight. 
what brought us to the JCP community was the preschool. I think having that sense of home was unexpected. Meeting a bunch of great families was, was unexpected. And this whole journey that you can go on with JCP, I think, was unexpected for, for me. We look forward to seeing those friends. They feel like family. And I think it's really created exactly what we always were craving was this Jewish home and this sense of community in a big city. Jar and Lee are community builders. The combination of their personalities is welcoming and inviting and engaging, and they love community. Last summer, Lee and Shara hosted a Shabbat dinner at their house, and I think it shows their commitment to the community, bringing people together, and I think that's what, what it's all about. The best word that describes my mom is caring. A great reason why JCP is such a wonderful community is she's a big part of it. Shara is one of those people that if you know her, you love her. It's impossible not to. Shara is a people person. She is the type of person that will make everybody in the room feel comfortable. I think anything that Shara does, she puts in all of her effort. The joke is usually, what haven't I done or what will I say no to? And I have a problem saying no because I love the organization so much. Shara was PA president at JCP before we were, and we often laugh at how baffling it is that she did this all by herself. Cher approaches things really with 100%. She wasn't going to take this job unless she could really um, you know, do, do it really, really well, and, and she did, and she did a great job of getting Hope and Cher prepared. We have big shoes to fill. I think JCP definitely supports the values that we have as a family. Every Friday night, we have Shabbat dinner with them and the kids. And Shara bakes challah every Friday night for them, which is arguably the best challah I've ever had in my <laughs> life. Her challah is incredible. It's like moist inside. Soft, cuddly, yummy. I mean, who doesn't it's love challah? It's unbelievable. I first had Shara's challah at uh, one of our Shabbats on the beach in the Hamptons, and I levitated. The best thing about my dad is that he's funny, and, and he only it's like cares about me. I think what defines Lee is family, relationships. He's been an incredible role model. He's an amazing, amazing dad, an amazing husband. Once you get that famous Lee Levy bro hug, you just know the rest of your day is going to be great. When he finds something that he likes, a new passion, hobby, <laughs> he will take it to definitely the most extreme of anybody I know. Lee is very intense about fantasy football and. He just doesn't have skills at it. He's, he, he's not he's, good. No, he's not good. He stinks. No, it's not true. I actually, I actually won more money this year in the league that I did win, not with the, those three. He loves it. He loves to talk trash, but he loses every single year. Every game. single year. I think Randy is one of the worst fantasy football players I've ever seen. I can't tell you how much I hate fantasy football. When Lee gets involved in an organization like JCP, he's going to be all in as well, and, and I think that's what everybody loves about him. I started as the treasurer and, and on the executive committee. The next five years are what's really going to be exciting, and hopefully I'll help play a part in getting us to a place where you know, real growth um, you know, is on the horizon for us. For him to give not only his time, but his mental brain power to something else other than his job and his children and his wife, I think says a lot about how much he cares about the organization. People see Lee and Chara and their commitment to the organization and they want to get involved. It's been really, really fun to be involved and meet these wonderful women and men that we've become so close with and get to do things that directly affect our children. Congratulations, Mom and Dad. I'm so proud of you guys for coming here and I hope you guys are having fun. I love I you, love Mom and Dad. Dad. Um, me, mommy, daddy. We want to thank JCP for this special honor. We've been part of the JCP community for seven years now, and we can't imagine what our lives would have been like without JCP. We first began with JCP when our first son, Gabriel, started the preschool program. It became immediately evident to us that JCP would be much more than our son's school. It would become our Jewish home and where we would meet friends that would inevitably become like family to us. Raising kids in New York City, away from most of our family in Florida, could have easily felt daunting for us. But surrounding ourselves with the friendships we've made here at JCP has made this big city feel small, warm, and loving. We feel proud to be a part of such a wonderful organization, and we feel excited 
to have our children benefit from having close ties to their Jewish heritage and partaking in JCP's amazing programming. It's been fulfilling to dedicate our time to furthering JCP's mission, and we feel excited for all that JCP has in store for the future. We also want to thank JCP for doing us the honor of allowing us to be co-honorees with Brian and Dory Friedman. I think that um, our friendship exemplifies how community members really do become more than just that, and we adore them, and we congratulate them as well. Congrats. Well, folks, that's the end of our show. We are so, so happy that you were able to join us tonight, express your generosity to us, give to JCP, so we can continue to do the great work that we do. Before we say good night and one final thank you, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the unbelievable team of people who show up every single day to provide the kind of Jewish life and Jewish programming for each and every one of you and your families. Our ECC director, Rachel Mintz, the head of the Hebrew School Project, Aaron Beezer, our wonderful new rabbi, Dina Gottlieb, all of whom have grown so much and have stepped into amazing leadership positions in this last year and held this community together. And our fearless president, Stacy Pollack, four incredibly strong women who have carried JCP through the most challenging of years in our entire history, but have sailed this boat into much calmer waters as we face the spring. I wanna also thank those who support Rachel in the Early Childhood Center, Denise, Marissa, and Sarah. I wanna thank our amazing facility staff here at 146 Duane, Ed, and Nick, and Tony. I wanna to also thank Daphne for helping Aaron run our incredible Hebrew School project, and those laboring behind the scenes in finance, Jeff and Toshiva. Kira, who works on marketing, Carly, who helps make so much go on. None of this would have been possible without the incredible devotion of all of the members of our team. And of course, none of this would be possible without you and your generosity. So with hopes and wishes for a healthier time and blessings for all of us to celebrate together when we are finally together in person, from the bottom of my heart and all of us at JCP, we thank you for supporting this benefit tonight, and we wish you good health and good cheer in the coming days.